Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Erickson TV, courtesy of Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. So, Lauren, we've talked at many different times on uh, Erickson TV about the difference between uh, index funds and actively managed funds. That's right. Um, and, and basically, uh, an actively managed fund has a manager that is picking stocks with the intent of trying to beat their some benchmark or beat right. you know, an index of some sort. And so they're trying to outperform the, the market averages. Um, mm -hmm. Is that a good, good enough? Yes, exactly. Okay, thank you. Um, so, so uh, you know, hopefully for people that have been watching um, our TV shows uh, with, with regularity, we do not believe in active funds, we do not believe in active management, and we, we believe in index and structured index funds. But um, there's an interesting article in uh, last January from Barron's called The Market Beaters, and they asked Morningstar, who rates and ranks uh, statistics for different funds, they wanted to find U.S. active stock funds with a long-term record of beating the S&P 500 index. And, and also they wanted to ensure that the same manager was still running the fund. Oh, okay. Uh, right. <laughs> Morningstar obliged and they gave, so of all the funds that were out there, they, they gave Barron's a list of nine funds. Each had had a better track record for one, three, five, and 10, and 25 years than the S&P 500, okay? Okay. So that's, that's phase one. Right. So then, uh, did any of them have the same manager? <laughs> they all have the same manager. Oh, they did all have yeah, the same manager. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, so what happened was is that uh, three months after receiving the list of their funds, five of the funds fell from grace before publication even came out. <laughs> and uh, so, so Baron made decided the question decided to do the story, but they decided to run with the story. Right. So they they, they only they only wrote about four funds that four were still funds. winning <laughs> right. um, in that fund in that story. So the, 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 the moral of the story, and the, to end this story, is that people that, readers that bought those funds based on that story right. um, may have felt duped because during 2016, those funds basically broke even in 2016 while you know, the S&P 500 index was up quite a bit right. in 2016. Uh, so it's just another example, there's all kinds of examples like that where uh, you know, just because there, there was a track record of great performance, it doesn't mean it's going to continue. Yeah, and it only took three months. Yeah, which is shocking <laughs> you know, uh, for, for, all, for all that. And the other thing they said is that um, active funds are even worse if you have a, 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 that are not in retirement account and a taxable account because yes. typically they, they, they create more short-term capital gains because they're constantly rebuying stocks uh, and selling stocks. And so uh, it's guaranteeing you, guaranteeing you a worse tax performance. Right. right? And that, so, so anyway, does this, does this, any final comments about the story? I guess my only final comment was that, is that uh, active management works even less well the more diversified you are. So right. they just compared it to the S&P 500. Right. If you try to have a diversified portfolio and have active manage, actively managed funds for each of those little sections, uh, it, it becomes harder and harder to, to do anything like be, beating the market. Right, because the, the managers at some point are going to make a mistake, right. and then number two, they're, they're, they're all constantly generating higher internal costs. Yep. Yeah, so okay, well, so, okay, anyway, so hopefully what we get from this is that Ignore those articles from Barron and these other, <laughs> other magazines. All right, well, thank you for watching this episode of Erickson TV, and we'll see you next time. Bye see you now. next time.